Today we are going to see the relation between angular momentum and angular velocity. L is the symbol of angular momentum, omega is the symbol of angular velocity. This two relation we are going to discuss. First we will see angular momentum is equal to linear momentum times of radius. So linear momentum, so linear momentum is equal to product of mass into velocity. So we can write m v uh, times of r. So l is equal to m v r. So angular momentum is equal to m v r. Now we uh, I ask the relation between uh, it is uh, angular momentum and angular velocity. So now we need to know uh, relation between angular velocity and linear velocity. When the object is in a circular motion, uh, if you want the angle theta, so arc length and radius, just you have to divide, theta is equal to s by r. So when you are dividing arc length by radius, you can get what is the angle of the rotation. It is in a radian, okay. So theta is, is theta into r is equal to s. Directly, I am going to differentiate with the above equation. So differentiating with respect to the time. So d theta by dt into r ds by dt. So displacement by time, linear displacement by time. This is going to be a linear motion and this is going to be the rotation motion. So this is a velocity is equal to this is omega into r. So velocity is equal to omega times of r. So now I got velocity is equal to omega times of r. Just I am going to substitute in this equation. So angular momentum is equal to m omega because v we got as a omega r omega r into r because v is a omega r so r r r square so m r square into omega is called angular momentum so this is going to be inertia l is equal to i times of omega so angular momentum is equal to moment of inertia times of uh, angular velocity okay so this is a relation if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching my video thank you everyone